With GPU mining going by the wayside over the last few years, I decided I need to find something to scratch that itch, something to pull me in and get me back into building rigs. And so today, we're building eight AI rigs costing me roughly $10,000. Now, what's the profitability? What's my ROI? Is this gonna make me buku bucks? I got no clue. And that's a hard one for most people to swallow. So don't do what I'm doing. Do your own research, make your own decisions, and only invest what you can afford to lose. Special thanks to today's video sponsor, Crypto Miner Bros. Crypto Miner Bros has been one of the top ASIC resellers in the industry since 2018, specializing in crypto mining hardware for not just professionals, but also home mining enthusiasts. Some of my favorite professional ASICs include the Bitmain Antminer L9 Dogecoin Miner and the brand new Bitmain Antminer S21 XP Bitcoin Miner. For home miners, I love the new Vault Miner D1 Mini, the Alphapex DG Home 1, the iPolo V2X Ethereum Classic Miner, and finally the Kanan Avalon Nano 3S Solo Bitcoin Miner. Crypto Miner Bros makes the checkout process easy for new miners looking to make their first purchase by not only accepting wire transfers, but also some of the more popular cryptocurrencies as a form of payment, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and USDT. Save an additional $70 per ASIC miner with special checkout discount code, the hobbyist miner. Need a safe, reliable, and trusted reseller to purchase your next ASIC miner from? Look no further than CryptoMinerBros.com. All right, so you'll have to excuse my basement. It's super busy and cluttered right now. We have a ton going on. So today you can actually see we have a boatload of hardware here and we got stations set up for our build. So where should we start? Uh, let's start down this side. So here are all of these seven rigs. I actually built the eighth one as a proof of concept ahead of time. And now we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with the seven remaining units. So we're actually going to be doing the ASUS Prime. These are the AP201 cases. They're about $80 each. I wanted to go with individual rigs versus these like 3D printed stands or these open frame rigs. I just feel so much more comfortable putting all my hardware into a case, cleans it up, makes it easy to use. So we're going to be using seven of these ASUS cases. Now over here, if you guys have followed along my channel over the last several months, I've gone ahead and bought up a bunch of hardware. And we've gone ahead and purchased things like, you can see here, a bunch of these from fellow content creator, Croupman. We've also purchased a bunch of hardware from other fellow content creator, Hawk Crypto Mining. And so a lot of the motherboard CPU combos that you guys see here are from those guys. I actually purchased them from them, met up with Croupman in person. I'll put a link to that video down below if you wanna go ahead and check it out and purchase the other stuff from Hawk Crypto Mining and he sent them up to me. So some of these are like, this is actually like Croupman's rig. It's on this like 3D printed stand, but you can also tell it's really dirty. What the hell were you doing, Croupman? Why is your hardware so dirty? So we're gonna be taking these apart, entirely cleaning them. We're taking them off the stands here. This one does have a power supply and so does that one. The other rigs do not, as you can see through here. And a lot of these are 3900Xs that you can see uh, on this one, Ryzen 9 3900X. There's also a few other varieties in here. I think this, this one over here is probably the nicest one. It's like a 7700 rig. Uh, and it actually came with 64 gigabytes of memory. So that one's totally badass. A lot of these other ones have memory memory, but they're only 16 gigabytes. Uh, now these were being used for salad rigs and stuff like that. I'm actually going to be building all of this and putting them on VAST. I've never jumped into VAST. This is going to be me tiptoeing into it. And they did come with these coolers. Kurtman talked these up quite a bit. Uh, so very excited to go ahead and see how well these do. Now outside of that, we've had to go ahead and upgrade our memory. And a lot of these are B450 boards that you guys see in here. So this memory, this Trident memory actually works out well. And these are 64 gigabytes. All of these rigs are getting bumped to 64 gigabytes. So that's why we have 
uh, several packs of memory right here. We also have some odd and ends off to the side as well. Now we are also upgrading everything to two terabyte NVMe drive, setting us up for expanding and for uh, you know growing. So I did have some of these SP two terabyte drives. There's some other ones I bought in here too, and I actually had this Samsung Evo two terabyte uh, NVMe that we'll be repurposing there. So these are going to be pretty beefy. The power supplies, we're gonna arrange, you know, I have a bunch of extra power supplies here from the GPU days, 550, 1000 watt, um, 750 watt power supplies. There's an 850 on here, a 750 on there. So we're gonna kind of mix and match because we'll be fine because the GPUs that we're using are actually these 3090s. I was gonna build these into one massive rig. I'm still planning to do a massive rig, but I'm gonna do those probably with 4090s or 5090s. So I've decided to go ahead and repurpose these 3090s. Look at this bad boy. Oh my word, these are huge. We're gonna be repurposing these and putting them. So we now have seven 3090s that are gonna go in these rigs here, but we have a lot of work to do. We gotta clean all these off. So some of these were sent to me just like this with the paste still on them. Uh, so we set up a little cleaning station here. I have a friend, Jordan, coming over to help me out because we got a lot of work to do tonight building seven total rigs. Now here's kind of what the finished product is gonna look like in here. Uh, so this is number eight that I said I had built previously. This was one that I actually spent a little bit more time on that I did more previously. So that's why it actually has the AIO cooler that you see in here, very similar memory. You can see the power supply actually sits off to the side in here. We won't be running you know, any of the fans like that. But yeah, this is where the 3090 fits in there, perfectly nice and snug. And I've already started the process of installing VAST. I failed a few times figuring out as I go, but this is a total learning process for me. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put the kind of phone on Hyperloop and let you guys watch as we get these all built and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so it's been a few hours. I had some help from my buddy Jordan, who is a rig builder, and my two sons helped us out along the way. Did everything work out the way I hoped? No, we ran into some snags, but I think it's important as a YouTuber to share with you some of my mistakes that are definitely made. All right, so apparently our puppy wants to be in the picture here. Hey, Winston, you gonna say hi? He's like, no, oh, hello, you gonna say hi? <laughs> All right, so, Three of these we did not build, these three here. And you might be like, well, why? Well, we actually need to return those. There's nothing wrong with them. It's actually my mistake. So these are actually, as you guys can see, these are full ATX motherboards. These don't support full-size ATX motherboards. The other units that we have nicely set up over there, those are the micro ATX. And so 
I bought these, we went to go ahead and install them, and it was like, wait, these don't actually fit in there. I'm so bummed. I didn't even think about it to kind of like look at the different sizes. It just didn't phase me that three of them were different. But every board was entirely cleaned off. I mean, this board was like yellow. This is the one I showed you as an example, giving Crootman a hard time. And look at it now, it looks great. So every board was cleaned off. We have our NVMEs were installed on every single board. Every one of our CPUs were cleaned off and repasted, as well as our 64 gigabytes of memory was installed on all of our other motherboards. So it made the install process really, really simple. But this unit here, we have another one over here, and finally another one over here. I did go ahead and order full size, um, some of the uh, larger ATX uh, cases. Uh, they're not actually made by ASUS, but they're Cooler Master, but they'll do the trick. So those are actually coming in in three days, so I'll build those off camera. So we have two NVIDIA Founders Editions that I will be building off camera, as well as this one PNY here. Not exactly the most um, desirable, but will absolutely do the trick. I also have two power supplies coming in. I was at, I decided, you know, 750 watts the recommended with 3090s. I already had one. I didn't want to waste some of the 1,000 watt power supplies I had under there, so I decided to order two additional 750 watt power supplies. So they'll be coming in here shortly. But here is our finished products. Look at these. So going down here, we got the labels here. We have 3090 rig one and the IP address. And the reason that's important is one, it'll keep it organized with the number of rigs I have. Two, I needed to set a DHCP reservation on my firewall. And I will have to end up opening up individual ports for these with VAST. But as you guys can see, these all turned out great and awesome all built and ready to go. I'm hyped to get these on VAST. I've never played with VAST before. We're kind of going all in on this. I've been doing a lot of research, watching a lot of videos. I want to give a huge shout out to the Mining King and Max Voltage. They've had some great videos out there that I've learned from. Ubuntu is installed on each of these. I went through and installed Ubuntu. That process was simple and easy, but installing VAST is not a simple process. Um, it is not like a salad install. It's not like a Hive OS install or even a core AI install. It's definitely more complicated. And I'll be honest, I am not super knowledgeable with Ubuntu. I had to watch a lot of videos today. I had to take a lot of notes, put together my own documentation, uh, and I'm still learning and still figuring that out. Am I gonna create a vast guide? Absolutely not. At least not anytime soon as I'm learning the ropes. But I do wanna show you one of these rigs because it turned out really badass. So let me go ahead and pull 3090 rig four and get it plugged in. All right, so here's our moment of truth. I got the lights off to set the mood here. Let's go ahead and power this on. <laughs> Guys, RGB makes everything more powerful and gives more horsepower. So check this out. So our fan should be kicking in. Yep, there we go. You can see me actually in the glass here. Let's pull this off, get a better look at it. So there you go, check that out. CPU fan, I think it's a Wraith. Look at that, looks amazing. Our RGB memory, I did not buy this memory just cause it was RGB, I promise. But that's just the way it turned out. And look at this, RTX 3090 for the Win 3. That looks so freaking good. Turned out absolutely amazing. This is this is the best rig. Now the case fan, yeah, maybe if I wanted more RGB in there, but my buddy was laughing at me, Jordan. He's like, this RGB case and this turned out amazing. He's like, and it's gonna go ahead and sit in a shed and no one's gonna see it. And you're like, you're absolutely right. All right, guys, so here begins my adventure into Vast AI with a pretty number of rigs. And the nice thing is too, is if I ever decide to get out of this entirely when it comes down to the AI rigs, I could sell each of these for a pretty decent price. 3900 X's, 64 terabytes or gigabytes of memory, um, two terabyte NVMe, and then a 3090. Pretty slick and a pretty decent setup. So I do have that option if I decide to go that route, but that is not in my crosshairs right now. I'm hyped to get into Vast with AI rig rentals, more GPU rig rentals, I guess we'll properly call it and test the waters. I don't know where this is gonna go. And this is why I'm telling you, please do not copy what I'm doing. Do not buy the hardware that I'm buying here today. Um, this is really for content as well as stepping foot into AI rig rentals, uh, you know, kind of taking it to that next level, getting away from salad or core 
or uh, a lot of no sauna, a lot of these other ones just haven't worked out well for me at all. And I've had very little success on those platforms. There just isn't really the demand. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna have a follow-up video in the next few weeks to kind of let you guys know once I get all these 3090 rigs online and kind of how things are going. Leave me your thoughts and comments directly down below. We'd love to know your thoughts. What platform are you guys playing with? Are you doing salad, vast, core, maybe none of them? Let me know your thoughts on what you're doing with your extra GPU mining hardware sitting out there, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.